What's good, I'm JG, your boy back with another Sunday dinner, but this time we're gonna do two, do two different ones. So this is like the, I guess lunch, even though it's like 5.50, but it's gonna be lunch, and then I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna cook for dinner, so, or it might just be this. I don't know, maybe I would, maybe I won't. So let's just go ahead and get this started. Now, I'm gonna be on TikTok Live while I'm doing this, and I'm gonna be vlogging, so, with that being said, I'm gonna have, uh, it's gonna be another voiceover. I like the voiceovers. So, cause I can go with the flow and I can play the music. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started and stop playing with the cutting silk. Grab this chicken. Now, I don't know if y'all been seeing all this chicken with um, with the hair coming from it, but that's not a God. I don't know what type of human ritual they doing and, and getting this chicken from, but it ain't chicken. Goddamn chicken be looking like you got pubic hair coming from it. I don't like that. Y'all know my go-to. I love a good Brussels sprout. So we're gonna cook some Brussels sprouts with the sides. We're gonna cook Brussels sprouts, a little baked chicken, but we got a twist with this baked chicken though. We got a plot twist. I don't know y'all ever heard of wrap snacks, but we're gonna cook some wrap snacks baked chicken. Now don't ask me how this is gonna go. It's gonna go how I want it. We got, we got the little baby brand, and that's my favorite kind. So what I'm thinking about is crushing it up in the blender, making it like like powder seasoning form, and then like distributing it on my chicken for flavor. So that's some new shit. I ain't never seen nobody do it. I'm gonna do it myself. But we're gonna try it. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. Even if it come out fucked up, we just trying some. So then I need three bags. Now I'm not gonna need two. Let's go ahead and get this shit started. From now on, it's gonna be a voiceover because I got to talk to the other camera too. I'm not gonna show y'all of me cleaning the chicken because I'm tired of proving my point. Bitch, I'm I'm a, I'm a clean it. Hell, now what y'all be wrong for me? So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get this shit started. Okay, now that I got that chicken clean, we're gonna go ahead and blend up our wrap snacks. And then while we do that, we're just gonna go ahead and start the live on the other phone and it's gonna be a voiceover from now on. Just follow my, follow my lead. All right, now this is where the voiceover start. And um, I'm just showing y'all the chips. Y'all, well, you know what, y'all know what to do. I know exactly what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that blender out of that cabinet. Now, I know they got things to make stuff turn into powder or something, but that's all I had, a blender. So, you know, sometimes you just got to make it work. And I got my pan to put my chicken in. So we're going to pour that bag of chips. First, we're going to eat one because, you know, you always got to do a little taste test. I'm telling y'all, y'all, y'all got to try these chips by themselves. Them hoes be busting. I'm talking about you take a few bites, it's like the flavor just busting through your head. They good and flavorful and season. Y'all got to try it. But anyway, we're going to do one bag right here. I didn't want to put both bags because, you know, you got to work it down to the nitty gritty. So we're going to put that top up on that thing. As you can see, I kind of struggled because, hold on, let me clear my nose. I got my sinuses fucking up. I got bad sinuses. I can't help it. I need to find out remedies to just... Get rid of sinuses. Like, damn, they ain't got no surgery to get rid of that shit. Because I be so tired of it. Um, I'm talking about just around this bitch just. <clears throat> okay. Like, I'm I'm sick of it. Shit. But anyway, as you can see, I'm, 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 I got the blending. You just got to hit that pulse button and and just get to shaking it. Because it's not like it's fruit and juice and water and ice. It just ain't going to blend all the way and just blend it by itself. You just got to do a little shaking like I'm doing. And as you can see, it's breaking it down. I wish I had one of them pieces from um like Africa or something where you like kind of grind it. It look like a piece of concrete, but I don't think it... Uh, it might be a piece of concrete. I don't know. But um, it's just used a little tool and utensil and, and, and blend it down. But as you can see, that's still working out how, how it should. Now I'm looking at it decide to decide whether I want to add another bag of chips. So, and I am going to add another bag of chips because you know I need to make sure I have enough seasoning and not too less. You, it's, it's always better to have extra than not enough because what you gonna do if you don't got enough? You're gonna be eating unseasoned food and we ain't got the time. And I like mine seasoned. 
I don't know about y'all, but I like mine to bust through the taste buds and uppercut me in the throat. I need mine to hit. So now this, by me adding that second bag, can't even lie, it was a little struggle. So it's like I had to fight with the blender. I had to wrestle with it because it was being a little stubborn. And I don't like shit stubborn because I'm already stubborn myself. So I had to grab me a spoon and kind of manipulate it. And then, yeah, you know, just manipulate it, crush it down on up in there, get it to the bottom of the blade. So when the blade spins, it gets the winning. All right. So let's, y'all see it. Blender look like it's shaking me, having a siege around this bitch. But hey, guess what? We're going to make it work. And mind y'all, I told y'all I'm also doing... The, the the live video and I'm also recording for YouTube and I'm so sorry I don't know which one y'all prefer the over the, the voiceover or me regularly talking but you know sometimes I like to listen to my music in the background and drink my wine and in my alcohol because I don't know sometimes I just get tired of talking but also I just begin tired of trying to find out what to say on the damn voiceover hey I guess you, I just got to make it work shit I guess I can't have everything my way call me Burger King bitch because I want it my way. See how that, 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 that seasoning just came up out there? Slap it in here. Hold on, let me grab that little piece right there. That was a little big chip. All right, now let's get the scooping and duping that seasoning on up out of there. And I put it in the little cup because who the fuck has a container to put it in? I wish I had an empty seasoning bottle, but however, I'm just, you know, black people gonna improvise as we all should. And another thing, I was on live and they told me to, um, they said, boy, if you don't take the bottom of the thing off, because I was trying to get all the seasoning out of there. And I'm like, this shit don't come off. And mind you, I never took the damn blade out before. I always, I, I took the bottom of the part off that I unscrewed before. As you can see, I'm trying to unscrew the blade, but I'm like, damn, this shit ain't coming out. Yeah, I don't know what y'all talking about. So I decided to put it back in the sink and then I grabbed it back out. And then I realized, pull it. Just pull it, baby. Just just, just snatch it on up out. And it came out. Y'all, I swear, you know, I learn something new every day. Some, you know, sometimes you just got to go live and let them tell you. But as you can see, I was surprised and I was shocked. There was something new. I didn't know nothing about that. Hey, I ain't no, no telling what type of bacteria all up in, in them creases and cracks. I'm glad they did tell me how to do that. Shit, I always just get the blender and add some soap and water and then get the blending it up. And then I put it in the washer. Now I can just take it apart and just put it in a washer. Okay, but anyway, let me give me a sip of this wine. Also, I mix my wine with a little Dillion. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that Dillion to get your willy on. All right. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I like to drink my wine, and I like to add a little Dillion to it just right. to spike it. So I won't be sweet because that wine get to make it okay. sweet. Can't even lie to you. I know I'm talking to the camera, and y'all can't hear what the fuck I'm saying because I had the music playing. But, hey, y'all get me. But yeah, try that. Get you some wine and put you a little look up in there. You might, you know, you might like it. I like it. I don't know. It it, it keeps me going. Oh, man, child, I'm 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 I'm, oh, I'm over a month without smoking. I'm doing damn great. Show the fuck is. And, okay, let's get back to the um to the cooking. Now, as you can see, I pulled the seasoning out of the cup from the the baby chips and. As you can see, I had to have a little dance break, but let's get back to the chicken. So I put, uh, I got my seasoning on a spoon, trying to put it on there and marinate it. But then I realized, like, nigga, are you black or white? So I had to go ahead and just do it with my hands, because if you don't do it with your hands, you're not putting love in it. You don't need utensils to, to, to do all that. Just do it the black way. Act like you know. I don't know how, I don't know why I lost my mind for that quick second. I, I probably, the look had probably got to my brain, but I came to my senses and I got the, you know, seasoning with my hand as I should. Now, some of y'all, watch, I almost burp, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm not going back to the leader neither. Some of y'all probably looking like, that's a lot of seasoning. But hey, like I said, I like mine seasoning. And on top of that, these, this ain't seasoning out the can or out the, um, out the pack. These coming from chips. So you might need a little extra to get all that seasoning because you got to mind, you got to think about it. 
You might taste more of the potato, so you need to season it from the chips, so you got to use a little extra. And I was right. I don't care what y'all say. But anyway, I promise y'all, I'm going to stop dropping one damn cooking vlog a month because I used to be way more consistent. Not even as consistent as I want to be and, and need to be. But I was more consistent than this, y'all. And hey, life just started to uppercut my ass and knocking me in the ocean, so I have to get up and get a and, and get a surfboard and take one wave at a time on my way back to the land. And I'm I'm back on land. I'm back on land, but I'm drying off. I'm drying off. So don't no worries. You know, one 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 wave at a time. Nah, now it's one step at a time because we back on land. Anyway, but yeah, we gonna we gonna we we finna get back on the I promise. And I think I'm going to give y'all a second cooking vlog, like, in the same week, you know, just to, sh just to prove to y'all. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to stop talking about it, and I'm going to be about it. So, let's right here, as you can see, you saw it. You saw how I seasoned it was. I, I, I seasoned it, it to that depth. Now we're going to change that. Well, get a drink first. Yeah, yeah, I want to spend my life with you. My life with you, oh, baby, baby. Please wait up for me, but whenever I get home, I know that I'm all alone. Thinking about what I'm gonna do. I hope it's still good. Oh, yeah. Huh? Y'all better ever let me get a pen and paper and hop in nobody's studio, because hey, I just know I cut up, but hey, <laughs> we ain't gonna do too much. We ain't gonna do too much now. Uh, Y'all ain't know I had a little vocal with it. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Beyonce is my third cousin, and, and, and you know, sometimes she be training me. And I'm still up here trying to be destiny child. I better hope they don't try to flag this video for copyright. I ain't got the time. But anyway, we're gonna grab that seasoning. I really forgot. Oh, that's jerk seasoning. I got that from um Publix. It's it's jerk seasoning um with less of the mild. List of the hotness because I don't like all that spicy shit. But um yeah, so I'ma season it to this part, you know, I'ma season it up into this amount of nurturement. You understand? So grab that and evenly coat it. Now it depends on how you like your food and how you like your seasoning. But this how I'ma do mine. All right. Don't don't fight me. I don't give a damn. Hey, whether you want whether you wanna come out of a bag on me, you see it really doesn't make any difference. But anyway, that that's right that jerk seasoning, um, the paste. That I got from Publix, and I'm gonna put that on now when the chicken like halfway done, cause you don't know, you know, you don't want to make the paste be a little burnt. And as you can see, I, I like that rum seasoning from the um other vlog, so I'm using that on a separate piece of chicken. I like the rum seasoning, you know, that's the one I doubt it the most. You know, this 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 how bitches do me in life. They doubt me, and then when they have a taste of me, they be like, oh, I love this. You know, at first I thought, I'm, yeah, bitch, that's why you, you don't knock it until you try it. That's what I had to learn in life. Don't knock nothing until you try it now. You know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Because you never know. That cover might be something you don't like, but you open that book up, it's a book full of money. I'm trying to tell you, y'all better take life lessons. So I did like three pieces of chicken with the um with the little baby chip seasoning. And I did one of them with the rum seasoning. And I did one of them with the jerk seasoning. And the rest of them with just, you know, all around seasoning that you use typically in your cabinet, like garlic, salt, Garlic powder, onion powder, onion salt, a little bit of minced onion, with a little bit of slap your mama. You know, you know the typical, you know, that's that's like the black folks seafood boil on 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 food. You know, they put all the seasonings in one and it it brings out a great flavor. I don't know how they mix up, but it do. It's like mixing up something and making a bum or something like that. You know, I don't know. But it it comes out nice. Now like I said, you season it to how you want it. Don't tell me how to do mine. Don't judge me. If you want to say it's high blood pressure, guess what? Long as it's pressuring, God damn it, long, long as it got some pressure. I ain't got high blood pressure, but hey, I got pressure. What you got? Low blood pressure because you don't use enough salt seasoning? Oh, okay. I'm just, hey, I, I, I'm not here to judge. Anyway, this, side, this right there is some all seasoning. I don't know. I should have paused it and zoomed in, but I didn't. I was trying to multitask. That's why I just, I, I don't know, y'all. I'm trying. 
I tried to go live and I tried to vlog it at the same time. But I think it's good enough. You see how that chicken look? Season it just like that. And I was matching a bag of chips, um, the little baby chips, and I didn't notice that until somebody pointed it out on live. But yeah, I'm going to put my little butter up in there. I put me a butter in between each piece of chicken because I feel like it added a little moisture to it. Now, as you can see, it should look like that. Or maybe not, but that's how I want mine to look. And we're going to slap it on in the oven. But then I realized, where the fuck is your aluminum foil? You need your aluminum foil. And I grabbed that and put it on there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I like you know what you're doing, baby. I like you know what you're doing. Now. Now, right there in that bag that I'm finna pick up after I drank my super alcohol, that's cabbage. A half of a cabbage because I cook cabbage for for one of my other meals, and I didn't want the whole thing. So, therefore, we're going to do that a little bit last because it don't take as long to cook. Now, right here, I got my Brussels sprouts, my good old Brussels. For some reason, when I ordered the Brussels sprouts, I ordered the wrong ones, and they be, they brought me the big fat ones. And I don't like that. I like mine's regular size because I be feeling like they put steroids in the Brussels sprouts. You know how them big fat pieces of chicken be too big? Like, they aren't supposed to be that big? That's how I look at them fat Brussels sprouts, and I don't like all that. But, however, that's all I had, so I made it work. Y'all see the strainer? Y'all ain't never seen one like that. I showed y'all that before anyway, but, you know, I had to show the live that. Because, you know, that's a, that's a bougie screener. Now, after we cut the Brussels sprouts up, we, we rinsed them off and we placed them in, the, in our, in, literally, we placed them in, in our clear bowl. I'm stuttering like a bitch. I'm over here drinking an energy drink trying to keep myself up. But um, we're going to use that seasoning and we're going to season them Brussels. Now, me, I like to season them good because I don't like to taste that grass. You know, the Brussels sprouts taste like grass when you don't season them. So we're going to evenly coat them. And on that top coat, we're not going to put as much because after you season the top coat, you're going to put your little olive oil on there. And you're going to swish it around, you know, put you enough, not too much. And then you're going to put you another coat of seasoning. Because you know why? You need it evenly distributed, you know, like a distribution center. I need it everywhere. I need it all over the world, all over the Brussels, all over the leaves. I just need it everywhere. I don't, I, I don't, want, I don't want to eat no half-seasoned food. I, I'm sorry. I just can't. Now, right here is where I put my pans back there, get them prepared. I put me a little olive oil on the pan because me personally, yeah, I know how I cook my Brussels sprouts. I, 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 I put them in the pan and I brown them at the, on the bottom part first and I let them cook. And then that's when I like to take them off and I like to slap them on the oven, like in, in the pan and put them in the oven. Because I just feel like, you know, it, it makes it how I like them. I don't know how you like it, but that's how I like them. Now, right here is where we're going to cut up that cabbage. Now, I had to call my mom and ask her how to do that, but like on our first one. And she told me to cut the cabbage and then take out all the little hard pieces, you know, all the thick pieces. So that's what I was doing. And I didn't want to, I'm sorry about this olive oil bottle being in the way. I, I just, I tried my best to multitask, but I'm going to move it though. Just, just, just give me a little time. So we're going to cut out them hard pieces, them stems and all that. And we're going to chop it up. Now don't chop it up to like lettuce because you got to realize once you boil it, well, once you put it on the stove, it's going to get soft. And, you know, I don't want it to look like, Shredded lettuce, anything like cabbage. Because I like my cabbage a little, you know, like cabbage because I like to put hot sauce on it. I don't find it because my, my, my camera angling was just horrible on this one. I just feel like I, I just got to start getting into the details, I guess. But we're going to put that cabbage in that strainer, that bullshit went now, and we're going we gonna to rinse it. Mm -hmm. Wash it out real good. Now, them, them how the Brussels sprouts coming out, they searing, they browning, and we're going to cook that cabbage. So we got the Brussels sprouts, they, they, they almost done, just... Just give them, just just give them time. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how the chicken. This is how the chicken looking right now. Okay, every 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 piece of chicken got a different seasoning. Well, uh, uh, except three of them. So, with that being said, how I like to do mine when it get done like cooking like fully with the aluminum foil on there, I like to take the aluminum foil off and then let it get crisp on the top. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how the process. Just be patient. It's so, all right, so y'all know I've been on this damn TikTok live and I'm still on live, but I'm finna show y'all how it's looking right now. Y'all got to know your boy throw it down every time. It ain't no motherfucking joke. Act like you know. Act like you know now. Let me turn it around. I'm talking too much. I get to talking too much. Y'all know how I get. I'll show y'all the food. These right here, shortcake bites. I got it from Publix. And let me tell you, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all later, but y'all got to try these. Um, it took me a minute to cook them. We got the Brussels. Them hoes look good as fuck. Bitch, I bite the pan at this point. We got the bacon cooking for the um for the cabbage. 
We got these finna get in, get get the cooking, and then hold on, let me show y'all. And we got the chicken. Now look at that chicken. I hope I not say shit look dry, cause y'all see that shit bubbling at the bottom. Y'all get real shady. Look at it. Uh huh. Okay, this done. It's done. This done. All right, now, now these are the cabbages. As you can see, we're gonna put it in that pot with that bacon. Now. Sorry, y'all, my sound is starting back to act up. But um, we're going to put that pot in that, I mean, put the put the cabbage in that pot. Yeah, and then we're going to add a little bit of water. Now, just a little. And I didn't even show y'all yeah, outside. And we're going to add our seasoning. Now, I use my traditional seasoning. Onion powder, onion salt, garlic salt, garlic powder, you know. And a little bit of slop. Just a tad bit. We're going to put that pot, that top on, you know, and have one of the Okay, y'all, now we're going to put our seasoning in there. Now, we're going to put our seasoning in there. Now, we're going to put our seasoning in there. But you didn't. We're going to take these up out the um, bag. These strawberry shortcake bites. Spread out of Publix before y'all act. Spread out of Publix, yeah. And I had to realize that. Let me put a little. Let me put a little butter on the pan. Put a little slip and slide up on there. You know. You know we don't want the bread to stick to the pan. You know I just like to put butter on everything. I don't, I don't give a damn. I just feel like you add a little slide and moist to it, and boom. How does that look to y'all? Now I promise y'all the chicken not dry. Just the chicken is not. Y'all like to say. See, I don't know if y'all be want me to put oil on top of the chicken butter. I don't know, but. I promise you it ain't dry. Looks can be deceiving. Um, as you can see, the plate look good. And I mail y'all one. Just send me y'all address. Now, we're going to put that hot sauce up on that cabbage first. Because it's like adding the icing to the cake. You know, you can't eat cabbage without hot sauce, I believe. I don't know what you like, but that's what I like. We got our bougie orange juice from Publix. You can see the wine. I mean, not orange juice, grape juice. I should have showed y'all the name of that grape juice. This It tastes like the communion juice when, you, when you're at church. But um, it's very good and thick. It's, you know, it's, you could tell it's real grape juice. Go get y'all some. Just find the bottle in that shape. Because I sure don't know the name of it no more. I think it's Casa something. I know it starts with a Casa. You know, I'm a drink. I'm a drinker. Anything I, if, if, if it sound like that, okay. I know Let's it. Let's try this little baby chicken first. Mm. Even gonna lie, that shit was good as hell. That chicken, it was busting. I do wish that I could taste more of the seasoning from the chips because I do feel like it it didn't have as much seasoning that I thought it was gonna have. But however, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was so good. I'm talking about it was good and crunchy. I heard that bite when I bit into it. I'm talking about it sounded like a damn fried piece of chicken. Because I told y'all I like my I like the top of my baked chicken crispy. I don't give a fuck. I don't like that baked feeling of my skin. I still want my skin crunchy even though it's baked. You know, you understand me? I know I ain't the only one. And the chicken was just falling off the bone. I'm talking about, oh my God. Y'all, y'all just had to be there to try it. Like, yeah, the camera don't do it no justice. And I usually eat it with, with, with the sound. But however, as you can see, I was on the phone. I was just doing a lot this damn video. But when I tell y'all, it was good. At this point, I'm just about to go get my food handlers card and my CDLs because um you can get on the road and just start cooking or something like that. I don't know. I cook out the back of a trailer. Look at that bone. I don't even clean my bones, but you see how the meat was just falling off the bone? Oh my God. Now that's that grape juice from the communion center from the from the church. And when I tell you, bussin'. As you can see, the cabbage didn't last a millisecond. It was bussin'. But about these cornbreads, y'all better go get y'all a bag of them. Y'all got to. Please do. It got it got that strawberry feeling. And it, it oh my God. Popeyes ain't got shit on that. I ain't even tried the Popeyes biscuit, but I'ma tell you here. Go get some of them. Go get your bag on my two or three or four. Cause they bussin'. And you already know I I, I throw down on them Brussels sprouts. They be mm. Huh. I ain't even got to explain, but I'm here to tell y'all, this piece of chicken right here, that's the jerk piece of chicken, and let me tell you, that shit was too spicy. It was good as fuck, though. Can't even lie, but I don't like all that spice shit, but it, it, was, it, was, it, was, a little too, it was it was a little too spicy. Maybe because I put the jerk season and the jerk paste, but however, it was real good, though. I ain't going to tell y'all no lie. It was real good. And shit was just too spicy, and I had the nerve to put hot sauce on it, too. I lost my black-ass mind, but, hey, I guess the, the flavor overpowered the spice. But um, if you want me to rate this plate, I'm going to give it an overall 10 out of 10. I don't give a damn. Look how the chicken just fell off the bone. You would think Blue had ate it. 
you would think I done, I done put it through a shredder and hey, but we're going to call that wraps. Thank y'all for watching.